maybe it's just my feeling towards research in general. It's just so nice to understand things. It just makes me happy. Huh? If I understand something, then it's just a joyful, joyful day when this happens. And in some sense, I also try to pass on exactly this enthusiasm about research to a new generation. And that's just fun to see other people learn new things and discover the, the secrets of the universe. Matthias Schott is exploring the smallest particles in the universe to solve one of the biggest riddles in modern physics. His research on elementary particles might get us closer to understand the nature of dark matter. Dark matter surrounds us every day. In fact, it percolates through us right now. But the problem is, we cannot see, smell or feel it. We know that dark matter has to be there, and we know that from the observation with our telescopes of the movement of stars and galaxies. We can only explain these movements when actually we assume that there is dark matter. And in fact, it turns out that dark matter is contributing to 80% of the matter content of the universe. Unfortunately, we really don't know what it is, and that drives a particle physicist like me kind of crazy. You know, there must be something, but we have no clue what it is. Matthias Schott is striving to fill this gap in particle physics. But to examine dark matter, he and his team have to take an indirect way. They are trying to measure the mass of one fundamental particle, the W boson. When they are finally able to tell its mass precisely enough, it could hint them to the existence of dark matter. To explore the W boson in detail, Matthias Schott works with the largest particle accelerator ever built, the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, at CERN in Geneva. Well, the idea of the LHC is very simple. We just accelerate two particles to very, very high energies and then let them collide. And then something new comes out. And the basic idea behind this actually is Einstein's very famous equation, E equals mc squared. And the idea is that out of energy, which is in these collisions, we can create new mass or new matter or new particles. And one of these particles, which we actually are interested in particular in my group, is the so-called W boson. In order to collect enough high-quality data about the W boson, Matthias Schott and his team helped to improve a particle detector at the LHC from time to time. Thus, they are developing and constructing detector parts in Mainz. The researchers have to work correctly to micromillimeter in order to build these detectors. So, I think the most crucial point in order to detect new particles at the LHC is that we have very precise detectors. So, for example, what we have to do here in our lab is that we have to ensure that our detectors are planar to the width of one single hair. And that actually we can test with this device here. I was at school, high school, and I saw a poster from CERN where they showed their particle accelerator at that time. And I saw this poster and I was bored and read it completely through. And that, that was the point where I knew that's what I wanted to do in my life. So, um, in fact, after my graduation from high school, I directly sat in the car with three friends and we drove all the way to Geneva to visit CERN and the experiments over there. And this experience just kept me motivated during my studies and finally I became um, a staff member of CERN where I could actually do particle physics research and then finally I got a call here to come to Mainz where I can continue my research in particle physics. Working today with complex data, theories and much high-tech equipment, Matthias Schott has preserved this fascination and curiosity for science from his boyhood. And maybe this is one key ingredient to explore the mystery of dark matter and bring us one step closer to understand the universe. <laughs>